Several birds landed on trees, one bird for one tree. But in this case, one of them didn't have a tree of its own. Then they regrouped with two birds sitting on one tree. After this, one tree was left. How many birds and trees are there? There are four birds and three trees. Look at these four people in a grocery store. Can you figure out who's going to steal a watermelon? It's the man with a soccer ball. It seems as if he's holding something heavy. It must be the watermelon disguised as a soccer ball. You wake up and find yourself in a locked room without windows and only one door. You look around and notice a table. There's a piece of paper, a knife, and several inflated balloons lying on it. You pick up the note. It reads, To get out of here, you must puncture a balloon with a knife. But if the balloon bursts, you'll stay here forever. What should you do to make a hidden door open in one of the walls? You should deflate one of the balloons. After that, you can easily puncture it with a knife. You're walking along the beach and spot an expensive looking watch in the sand. There are only three other people on the beach. Who does the watch belong to? This guy's watch is in his pocket. The tan line on this girl's wrist doesn't match the shape of the watch. The watch must belong to this elderly lady. You've got a sack filled with coffee beans. You need to use this coffee to completely fill two other sacks of the same size. How do you do it? Put one empty sack into the other and fill them with coffee. Three young men came to a coffee shop to prepare for their final exam. A waiter came up to them and asked, Does everyone want coffee? The first guy said, I don't know. The second man answered, Nah, I don't know. And the third one answered, Yes. Can you figure out what the first two guys ordered? All young men ordered coffee. Each of them wanted to have this drink, but the first two couldn't know if it would be everyone's choice. If the first two guys hadn't wanted coffee, they'd have simply said no. So when the third guy heard his friend's replies, he figured out that both of them wanted coffee. And since he was going to get a cup, he said yes. You have to think outside the box to crack this one. 1 is to 3 as 3 is to 5, and 5 is to 4, and 4 is the magic number. Can you figure out the pattern? The word 1 has 3 letters, the word 3 has 5, and the word 5 has 4 letters. But the word 4 has 4 letters in it. And whatever number you try, eventually you'll come back to four, and the game will end there. Vincent got locked in a room with no windows and only one massive door. There's a panel with several buttons on the left and another one with a hint on it on the right. There's also a clock on the wall above the door. Which button should Vincent press to get out of the trap? The green triangle. The numbers on the panel represent hours. If you connect them on the clock face, you'll get a triangle. Add this number to the same one and multiply the result by 4. Then divide it by 8 and you'll have the very first number again. What number is it? It can be any number. You can try it out to make sure. Look at these women attentively. Which one seems to be suspicious?
It's the one on the right. The woman on the left was just adding some ketchup to her dish. See that bottle? But look at the pie the woman on the right is holding. There's a smartphone peeking out of the pie. What's it doing there? It's very suspicious. The police knocked on Michael's door late in the evening. They had a search warrant. They accused the man of stealing a big sum of money from a supermarket. Mike claimed that he hadn't left the house all day, but one of the detectives saw something in his living room, and it led to the man's arrest. What was it? Look at the date on the receipt lying on the table. It's the same as the date on the calendar, which means Michael lied about not leaving his house that day. Look at these guys attentively. Can you tell which one has drawn the graffiti? It's the guy on the left. He has some spray paint on his hoodie. An ant is two inches away from its home. With every next step, it covers half the distance to the entrance. How many steps will the insect have to take to reach its destination? The ant will never reach the door because every time it'll travel only half the distance. Now, how about solving some rebus riddles? This is the first one for you. Hi, 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 hi. That's high five. The next one, noon good. What's this? That's how you greet people. Good afternoon. Okay, now try this one. Way progress. It's progress underway. Now let's check how attentive you are. Try to figure out what's wrong in the following images. There's no way anyone can wear those blue shoes. They're both left ones. How about this one? This horse looks rather natural among kangaroos, but it doesn't belong there. What's wrong in this picture? Why would a barn have a chimney? I suspect something is missing in this picture. Can you figure out what exactly? The bus doesn't have side mirrors and windshield wipers. Detective Lucas was called to investigate an accident. A car crashed into a store window and smashed the glass. There are two suspects. Both of them deny their involvement. Detective Lucas doesn't need much time to figure out who the culprit is. Do you know the answer too? It's the owner of the blue car. The pattern on its tires is the same as in front of the store. Detective Brown was having her morning coffee in a cafe when she heard a car screeching to a halt, then some loud shouting. She ran outside and spotted a man on the ground. His bicycle was lying nearby. There was also a car sitting next to the man. Detective Brown helped the cyclist up. The car driver came up to them. The cyclist exclaimed, He hit my bike with his car, making me crash. But the driver answered, I saw him losing control of his bike in the mirror. I left my car to check on him. Detective Brown immediately understood who was lying. Can you figure it out? Strangely, the car doesn't have side mirrors. 
and all that stuff in the back seat blocks the view of the road, so the driver couldn't have seen anything in his rearview mirror either. He's lying. A man wearing a hat, a bandana covering his face, and dark sunglasses robbed a bank. The police have three suspects. Look at them and try to figure out which one is the criminal. Usually, people tie bandanas under their ears. But in this case, the bandana covers the robber's ears. It probably hides something that distinguishes the man from other people. The criminal must be that man with only one ear. When Louisa entered the office, she noticed that her colleague Anna was very upset. It was the beginning of the working day, but someone had already stolen her purse. Only those who worked in the company could get into the office. Louisa questioned her colleagues. Maria, who worked in IT, said she'd been fixing somebody's computer. Jane, the secretary, answered she'd been on the phone with some clients. Andrew, a sales manager, said, I've just returned from a three-hour long meeting. I'm exhausted. Can you figure out who took the purse? Andrew, the working day's just started. How could he come back from such a long meeting? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.